We made it, the University of Hertfordshire. It feels good to be here. Coming to university was right for me. Knowing my family had never done it before, and I didn't know what to expect. You get all this information thrown at you in that first week, don't you? And if I'm being honest with you, I didn't even take half of it in. <laughs> There's students from literally all over the world. All shapes, sizes, ages, and different backgrounds. Some of us have moved away from home for the first time. Some of us have already lived and got kids and stuff. It doesn't matter what your background is. This place can be for you. But that didn't stop me from having a tough time when I started here. Everyone else just seemed to just get it and know what to do except for me. It was like, oh my days, how do they even know? I mean, this place is big, man. My head was all over the place. When I started here, I moved away from home. First time away. I lived on campus for the first year. Man, there were a lot of people. I mean, my mom could scream at me, but this place was loud. And it's easy to get lost in it all, you know? And I mean, not like finding room numbers. As I mean, lost like I'm gone. Money runs out quicker than you think. I didn't realize how much my family helped me to live. The food was just on the table, and I even missed my mom dragging me out of bed, especially when I was late. Here, I just felt my own. I didn't come out my room for a time. Like, over a week, I just stayed in my room and just watched Netflix in bed. I didn't want to come out of my room. It just felt like kind of dark, like there was no point anymore. It all became a blur. But I remember one night, there was a knock on the door. I ignored it, but they didn't go away. I eventually opened up. It was an RA, a resident assistant. She just straight up asked me, how are you? And I didn't even know how to answer. But she smiled and said, it's nice to see you. Seriously, Everything in me just wanted to shut the door, but there was something about her. She was a student too, and it's like she just knew. She asked me if I'd eaten, and I don't even know what I answered, but next thing, there was just toast in my hand. And for the first time in a while, I thought things might actually improve. I mean, don't get me wrong, the dark place I was in just didn't go away by a plate of toast. I wish it had. But there was a lot of people who started to help me out. I met with a student support officer who said their job was to help with the welfare of students in halls and off campus. We chatted and they don't judge. They just said they were worried about my mental health and they wanted me to see someone from student wellbeing. I don't really like talking about how I feel and that. So the thought of talking about me just felt wrong. I was scared really. But going back to feeling dark was just worse. So I went and I met someone from mental health team. So I was worried they'll think I was crazy or something. But what I was saying seemed totally normal to them. It turns out they thought I was depressed. But they told me how I could get help without forcing me to do anything. They explained things and gave me stuff to do so I felt like I'd actually get out of my room. And even when the panic kicked in, they asked me if I wanted my lecturers to know anything about how I've been and why I'd missed class, which was killing me but they were all cool about it. Everyone just wanted to help me stay. Turns out though, the student wellbeing team have any amount of help on offer. They helped me to register with the doctors on campus and even helped me get an appointment. There's counseling if you want to talk through any feelings and that to help you work through things. The disability team, they helped me loads with my dyslexia. I didn't even think I could tell anyone at uni, but I even got help writing my essays and extra time in my exams. If I hadn't gone through depression, I would have never actually found out. It makes me grateful in a way. And do you know what else? I even learned how to cook a meal. My mom creased when she found out. Couldn't even stop laughing at me. She kept saying, it's about time. But right, there's this community fridge on campus that you can just get free food. And the chaplaincy even organized social cooking lessons. I'm not religious, but even the chaplaincy helped me. It's a good spot to talk about the deeper things in life. I met a pretty girl at the cooking session too. I'm in my final year now. I live just off campus with a group of friends. And that pretty cute girl just lives up the road. I get some good grades and my last placement offered me a place when I graduate. So I'm set. If you looked at me now, not knowing anything, would you think I had it good? That I just get it and I'm in control and I know what I'm doing. I just say, I do now. Don't get me wrong. I still get stressed, there's all kinds of pressure and the final year dissertation. 
But I'm all right. I can deal with it. I can do it. I've been there. I made it back. I got support. Look at me now. So, I've just got one question for you. How are you? <laughs>